What's going on, Lake Nona? It's a new week, and that means a new episode of your favorite weekly show. In this episode, we'll be covering COVID vaccinations, blood drives, and more. I'm your host, Nicola Bosco, and this is In the Nona. The Orlando VA is holding a free COVID-19 vaccination clinic today, Monday, January 18th, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. for certain veterans based on CDC and VHA guidelines. To be eligible, you must be a veteran who receives care at the VA and be either 75 years and older or be a veteran who is 18 and older and is currently employed as a firefighter, police officer, corrections officer, food and agriculture worker, United States Postal Service worker, a manufacturing worker, grocery store worker, public transit worker, and those who work in the educational sector, such as teachers, support staff, and daycare workers. Please be sure you have not yet received the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccination. Also, please bring in an ID or documentation as proof that you are employed in one of those categories. Veterans must be able to return to Lake Nona for a second dose in 21 days. Vaccines will be available for walk-ins or by appointment as supply allows. Appointments are not required, but if you'd like to schedule an appointment, call 407-631-0499. On Tuesday, January 19th from 10 to 11 a.m., Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida is inviting the community to a free virtual behind the scenes look at its facilities to hear how the organization is continuing to feed hope in our community during these difficult times. Participants who register for the Food for Thought virtual tour will be granted access to the organization's warehouse via Zoom to see how the food bank has been able to distribute enough food for 300,000 meals a day, a day. Attendees will also hear about the different programs Second Harvest maintains to help feed anyone who faces food insecurity across Orange, Osceola, Lake, Seminole, Volusia, and Brevard counties. Since mid-March, Second Harvest has doubled its daily distribution numbers as a direct result of the economic impact from the COVID-19 pandemic. The organization needs the community's help more than ever to continue at these elevated levels. In November, the food bank reached its 50 millionth meal served since the start of the pandemic. For more information about signing up for a Food for Thought tour, visit feedhopenow.org tour. Donating blood is always helpful to the healthcare field, but it's essentially critical, especially, I don't know why I said essentially, but it's especially critical during the pandemic. The Orlando VA Medical Center and One Blood has the Orlando VA Medical Center and One Blood have teamed up to host a blood drive this Wednesday, January 20th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. All donors will receive a free One Blood t-shirt, a $10 e-gift card, a Carabas appetizer, and a free One Blood wellness checkup, which includes a COVID-19 antibody test, blood pressure, pulse, temperature, iron count, and cholesterol screening. Be a hero and make a difference. iLingo Academy will be opening in Lake Nona this month. iLingo is a STEAM-based multilingual school with a mission to educate young minds to become extraordinary people who do extraordinary things. The Academy's holistic approach aims to enrich the intellectual, emotional, and physical development of every child. Why are you laughing behind the screen? iLingo Academy will be located off of Mere Parkway behind Eagle Creek Elementary School. If you're ready to enroll your child today, you can sign up uh, what am I saying? If you're ready to enroll your child today, you can sign your child or children up at nona.link slash ilingo. That's a wrap for this episode of In The Nona. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Stay In The Nona. If you're interested in having your event or business on the show, you can email me directly at nicole at nona.media or send a message on our social media. I'm your host, Nicole Bosco. See you next week.